Homer. Oh, we're fine. Good evening. Welcome to our show. Brought to you by... um, Is that news? We're brought to you by our logo. We're we're brought to you by our logo. CJS, Creamy Joe Simon. That is your um, legit news source and music. You know, that's right. Hey, this is a music show. It looks like a news show, because we can do it all. Yeah. But it is a music show in spirit. And um, we start every music show with a UU hymn, but we also like guests. And boy, do we have a good one this week. We're just going to give you a sneak peek who, of who's coming up in the middle of the episode. Sai, who do we got? Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Hi, folks. You know that's going to be good. Um, All right. So, yeah, without f- further ado, I think we can we can start our first song. Um, we, we do have some house musicians in the new studio tonight. It's not so, just us. Right. So let's, let's go live to our musicians now. Thank you, Creamy hey. and Char and Creamy and Char. All right, um, we. That's not their names. <laughs> what was their name, Creamy and Joe? We're gonna do. Um, get out your gray hardback hymnals if you got them. Smoke them if you got them. And we've got. Uh, turn to page. Your favorite hymn and mine. One, two, three. Spirit of life. Creamy and Joe. At the news desk. Ugh. I didn't go anywhere. Oh, thanks, guys. That was terrific. Woo! Great song. Great song. All right. Hey, a little uh, housekeeping here. We've been doing this show for what? Seven years? Four weeks? <laughs> <laughs> right. Lost. We all lost track of time long, long ago. Um, oh, do we have a problem? Oh. Simon's adjusting us. He's making us look good. Yeah, he's, he's on it. Um, we did a show last week with a video. Uh, it's a jungle out there. Boom, ba, boom. That's a, a cover of the, the theme song of the show Monk with Tony Shalhoub. Yes, it is. Well, we added a lot of stuff to it, as you saw. 
uh, zombies and tardigrades. And uh, there was a little extra something, a little, an Easter egg for y'all to find out. So like, can you pull up what I'm talking about here? It was a clip of a, a decapitated chicken. You right. saw its head get clean, chopped off. Yes, and so that is from a famous uh, movie that you've all seen. And we wondered if anyone if anyone knew where, where they've seen that before. You've all seen it, but it was just two or three seconds in a famous movie. You've got a rubber pencil going on here. Okay. <laughs> um, it's not Cool Hand Luke. I'll throw that out. It's a movie we've all seen a million times, but you may not remember seeing this. Last chance to guess. Three, two, one. Sai, show them what it's from. Oh! Willy Wonka. Have that scene, all the, the Oompa Loompers are rowing that crazy boat through that dark river tunnel. And Wonka's just ranting. Everyone is freaking out. Because there's all these images flashing around the boat. Including, real quick if you, if you pay attention, decapitated chicken. Yes. Look it up. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. And we we also have we have a, a game for you this week. I um, like to have fun on this show. Yeah. So before and during and after our guest uh, uh, spot, we can uh, have you guys engage in this game. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do a Rebus for you. This is a Joe famous Joe Rebus, and uh, I make not, a lot of these. It's not Rebus McIntyre. Nope. I yes. wish. <laughs> so, this is a Rebus, a timely Rebus. Brand new one I made this week for everybody here. So I put up the full thing. That's great. Um, you know how these work. It's just a series of images. Sound them out in your head. And when you put all those sounds together, you're going to get a, a famous expression. Uh, that's what we're looking for. Um, memorize this a bit, because we're about to go to our guest. We can't wait for our guest. But... We'll leave this up for just a few more seconds. Four images strung together. Think about it while we're away, and we will be right back with the solution. Lions.
Hey, we're just scrolling through some sweet comments here. And before we walk you through the Rebus, for oh, everyone who's still wondering. I, I wanted to thank my, my pop for a oh, second. Uh, yeah. And let you know that that recording session, uh, we were we were at least uh, six feet apart throughout that that sunny day outside. And so. No one got sick. No one got sick. Not yet. But everyone <laughs> got happy. Yeah. That was really sweet. Thank you, Daryl. Miss you, Dad. Mm. And Mom. So we got some big news here. It looks like the Rebus has already been solved by Justina. Shell shroud pulley spade is the famous expression. Well done. <laughs> um, it looks like um, Steve got it and Rachel and Richard. Family effort there. A lot of people. Steve also got the Willy Wonka uh, Easter egg. Nice. Uh, it's great to have you here, Steve. You're one of our, our favorites because you're one of our guests. Um, we don't play favorites. Oh, just for everyone else, let's walk through the Rebus. Sai, can you pull that back up? Great. Okay, starts out with a shell. That's a seashell. We're just going to say shell. The next thing, as you know, is that's the Shroud of Turin. And we're just going for Turin. There's a pulley with hands coming down. It's pulling to pull. And there's an ace. Got to know when to fold them and hold them. Uh, so put it all together. Uh, shell. Turin, pull, ace, shelter in place. All right. Next slide. Next slide's me. Oh, where's the, the camera's over here? Shelter in place, everybody. Um, I'm gonna lose lose the hokum. Uh, I'm in charge of our third and final song, and uh, it's one I've written. Uh, a year ago today, I caught a plane back to Massachusetts to go to the funeral of my very good friend, Sarah Kaufman. Here she is. Um, I grew up with Sarah. We were in plays when we were very, very young. And our teenage years, you can tell I don't dress up often. I don't know how to do this. Um, my brother Mike introduced me to folk music, and he started taking me around to all the coffee houses. And at the Rose Garden Coffee House in Mansfield, I saw Sarah up on stage. And I had no idea she was as amazing as she was and is. Um, one of the most musical people I've ever met. I mean, just came to her and flowed through her. And a couple of years after that, she invited me to be in this band she was starting. I was smart enough to say yes. Uh, she died in a car accident last year uh, in the middle of the night, and um, there's nothing you can really put together about tragedy like that. You don't make sense of it um, all that much. And so on the plane ride home, I started writing some lyrics and just tried to put together a song that Sarah would have liked. Uh, she wasn't one to pull punches, and, and, and so what kind of funeral song would Sarah have liked written about her? You, there's no way I got it right, but I got what I got. Sorry to bring down the party, but uh, just felt I needed to play this for her tonight.
gasoline. on fumes you best in along for the ride at the close of a long long day an old song on the radio a midnight breeze on a lonely road that's enough Take your heart away when the red wing falls down through the trees. I hear the noble woman scream. She's been running her whole life on the same old gallon of dreams and we all asked ourselves where was she going that night and where else should she Stretched out so pale and fair, broken glass in her matted hair, and lips so stiff that never sang again. When the red wing falls down through the trees. same old gallon of dreams mm, thanks for indulging me we'll try to cheer the song back up Back to the music. Oh, life. All right, thank, thank you, Joe. Hello, Joe. And I'm back. <laughs> oh, now I'm all shaky. Yeah, Joe just ruined everything. Uh. <laughs> thank you. All right, back to, um, mm. um, uh, Guys, we have uh, Joe's email here, and that's for you to let us know if you've got something to add to our to our jelly program. Oh, thank you, Zion. And um, and we've been we've been having folks utilize that email for um, things like reviews of our show. Oh, that's right. Got a snappy little review just the other day. That'll cheer me up. Yeah. This is my favorite thing. All right. Steve so, Miller writes. Uh, now, it's a uh, fourth episode of the COVID-19 season. The Sharps weekly music show finds its feet and continues to delight. The show is masterfully produced and directed by Simon Charbonneau with a great sound and visual mix for a family get-together show. Joe and Creamy's love of performance and reverence for the music shines. And this week's special video, you remember the jungle out there, is a creepy delight and a must rewatch for all those Easter eggs. With the COVID-19 season that might be with us for another few weeks, this show is a nice break. If you need a little Saturday evening lift or a lunch rewatch during the week. Thanks, Steve. And if you want to read the rest of Steve's review, get this month's issue of Variety Magazine. Oh, Simon's on the cover. Did I mention that? <laughs> uh, we um, we got 
got another review, uh, kind of in person this week, um, uh, this last week. Unexpectedly. We, uh, yes, we were, we were down on 25th Street getting some, some takeout food. Lots of our restaurants are, are providing. Curbside service. We went to Two Bit Street Cafe. I ordered a Reuben. And I got a garlic burger. Mmm. <laughs> And so we're waiting on the curb, right? And, and the door opens, and out comes Carly, um, one of their wait staff, and she brings us the food. Well, the door's still open, and we hear shouting from inside. Hey, we love your show. It was Penny. Hi, Penny. Penny gave us a shout-out, a live, legitimate, literal shout-out. We love that. And so we say that's in our mailbag. Yeah. That counts. Yeah. And we've got another, um, we've got another review uh, this one was a video review. Oh, that's right. Uh, all right, from Luna. Uh, my cousin Tim's daughter, Luna. Take it away. Peace out, Bye, Luna. Luna. Thank you. She's our biggest fan. Uh, <laughs> uh, love her. Thanks for sh she sends us a lot of videos, and we love it. And uh, currently playing chess online with Luna and, and her whole family. Uh, we got one other thing in the in the in the mailbag this week. I forgot to mention. Uh, people are using our email address. Richard Green just sent us some stuff. Oh, good. Some musical. Oh, good. Musing. So we haven't checked it out yet, but we will. Thank you, Richard, so much. I'm sure, it's going to be great. And uh, we'll put it up in a, in a future show. So that's it. I think that's a wrap. Everyone's got to continue to stay safe, of course. That's what we're here to do. Uh, bolster each other up and, and look after each other. So continue to do that. Thanks for joining us. Uh, good night and have a pleasant tomorrow. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow. Joe, you ignorant slut. Something inside that you wanna say Say it out loud, it'll be okay I will be your light, I will be your light I will be your light, I will be your light